That was a clip from Chasing Legends, a high-paced behind-the-scenes documentary on the 2009 Tour de France. Recently, we sat down with the director, Jason Barry, who said he was constantly surprised by what he saw on the tour. What surprised me was the intensity. Even knowing it was one of the most intense sporting events on the planet, going there and then seeing these guys dragging themselves over these mountains, and then mixed into that the media pressure because every day they get done with this and it's not like they can just run and hide. They've got to go, if you're someone like Cavendish, you've got to go and answer questions to you know, six different networks. And then while you're riding too, during the day, they've got six helicopters overhead and the guys on the bikes. And the whole time it's full on. And then when all that ends at the end of each day, they got to do it again the next day. So it's as, it's almost like a race to get to the hotel, a race to eat, a race to get your massage, and then a race to get to bed. And it's like, okay, sleep. <laughs> so it was just and a race to start it all over. And then yeah, and then the next morning you get up and it's there's maybe like a half hour where the guys are a little bit normal and they're like, hey, might have a coffee with you, might talk to you a little bit, and then it's kind of like, oh yeah, game on. Yeah. Well, we know that the tour is a team race, but I had no idea how big a team actually was. You have mechanics, personal chefs, swanyors. I mean, tell us a little bit about the team behind the cyclists, but more so, what's a swanyor and where can I get one? A swanyor is, is uh, it's basically, I think it translates to the helper, and it is. It's a perfect person to have there because not only are they putting together the, the food for the cyclists in the morning so that when they grab their bag in the feed zone that hangs around their neck like halfway through the day because they're racing for five to seven hours a day. They gotta have a lunch. So the Swanier's putting together their food, but also at the end of the day, the Swanier takes that rider, gets them into massage, says, okay, calm down, you know, nobody here but me, what hurts? What can I help you with? They give them a massage, and, and they, they also talk to them about what's bothering them, like, personally, or what might be going on. And when you've got some of these superstars, like Cavendish, um, you know, in the whole world, is everyone's kind of, you know, paying attention to your every move, it just helps for them to have somebody to say, you know, because their girlfriend isn't there. And maybe they've got something going on back home, you know, maybe they've got something with the wife or their baby's sick, whatever. So they need somebody to kind of confide in. And the Swanier is this consummate friend, this person who just takes that rider, rebuilds them every day, and then sends them out the door the next day. You talk about uh, how much, you know, different people help out different cyclists throughout the day. You know, maybe there are things on their minds. Maybe. Uh, well, let's talk about Lance Armstrong, because let's face it, I mean, when you get allegations coming day in, day out, and they seem to be coming from all angles, the Floyd Landis allegations won't go away, and the media is constantly harping on you. I mean, stuff like that, it's got to it's gotta weigh heavily on these cycles, right? I mean, it's, it's yeah. not like you can deflect it and just keep going. For someone like Lance, who over all these years, I think that's another area where he excelled, is he controlled the media around him. And he'll say, even to this day, if someone's yelling, Lance, I want to interview you, Lance, while he's talking to someone else, he'll say, hold on, wait a second, in a minute. And he's just very controlling of everything around him. Mm -hmm. And when you're around him personally, I didn't get a chance to, to talk to him very much, but I watched a lot and, and I saw how he dealt with his mechanics. And to watch how he handles himself personally, he, he draws this loyalty out of people around him, and, uh, and it's really interesting to see how he, he controls his space. So this is an independent film, and a lot of people don't know this, you're a self-taught filmmaker. Um, the production value is incredible in this. Does, was it difficult to get funding for something like this? Yeah, well, um, thank you. Um, the uh, the funding process was a quick one. We knew we weren't going to get some any any funding. We had a, a limited amount of time. Once we started making phone calls, I got the idea. I said to my my uh, producer and, and business partner Ken Bell, I said, "Look, we have a chance. Let's go and do this." And how much money do you think it'll take? Because I'm the guy that dreams stuff up, and I, and I'm just kind of probably not the smartest in that respect because I'll say well we can do it whatever it takes and he's going no really we can't because we have to pay for an RV for a month we have to go over there and and eat food and, and it's very expensive and all this stuff and he ran the numbers and he, he came up with a plan that if he put a second mortgage on his house if I liquidated my retirement fund and if we got you know around about 20 to 30 thousand in either credit cards or a bank loan we could pull it off and we budgeted out a year to do this and so anybody that's ever kind of thought you know, it would be fun to quit my job and, and go and make a movie about the Tour de France or, or anything, really. It's not that much fun. It's just incredibly stressful and really hard. But, you know, if, if you stick to it and, and you believe in yourself, you can pull it off. Has Lance seen the film? I don't know. We've sent some DVDs his way. I've, I've sent him a link so he could watch it online on the jet, whatever, okay. <laughs> 
but uh, hopefully he'll see it soon. And uh, we're, we are going to have some screenings in Texas, and um, hopefully it will coincide with when he's there. But I'm sure he'll see it at some point. And Lance, when you see it, tweet about it. Yeah. You're tweeting about everything else. Love. Let us know what you think. Exactly. Thanks for coming on the show, and best of luck. I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me be here.